An incredible victory. I knew Asmodan could never stand up to the likes of you. Where are Adria, Leah, and Tyriel? They are all in the armory. No doubt celebrating. You should join them. Will you study with me? The thieves have their own studies. Surely you jest. Perhaps the world is not as simple as it seems from up there. Up where? Your ivory tower. and serving gruel ain't glorious but these men can't fight and die on no. empty stomachs. Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. <laughs> Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel! I live. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Now at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the high heavens.
enemy. You cannot hide from me. No matter what form you choose to wear, let your true self be revealed. than ever. The heavens were his true target all this time. And now the angels stand on the brink of annihilation. Defies all reason. this evil together. Wait. Before we face that abomination, there is something you should know. When we first met, I thought you were a simple and brutal warrior. I was wrong. You are wise in a way I have no words for. You cut right to the truth of a problem. I admire you more than I can say. Outsiders seldom understand my kind, but you have looked deeper. I hope you always remember the power of that. I will. Of all people, I should have seen this coming. I allowed myself to believe this, this fiction that Adria was other than I suspected her to be. And now, the world is lost, and it is my fault. We are all at fault. There is no disguising that fact.
Ever since Adria betrayed us, I've been thinking about how Magda used to share the leadership of the Coven with another. Right. Twenty years ago, just before the darkening of Tristram, they had some sort of falling out, and the other leader disappeared. I think that other leader might have been Adria. That would explain a great deal. Well, we've had a good time, I act. Shame about our imminent deaths. You almost sound as though you've accepted the inevitability of death. You don't choose this life and expect to live to an old age. Still, it's the women I feel sorry for. Which women? All of them. They'll be heaving bosoms and torn clothes all across the land when word spreads that I've fallen in battle. You must miss your brother. His wife. No point in it. I'll never see them again. You can't be sure of that. My brother's wife thinks I was involved with his imprisonment and he believes her. Unfortunate. As low as I am, I would never frame him. Not even to win her back. They won't hear a word of it. For all the gold I sent to them, I received nothing in response.
Eating us in their wild darkness. I am Ethereal, Archangel of Fate. It is my duty to record what is and what will be within the scroll of fate. But you, Nephilim, you are not in the scroll. Your fate is unwritten. I would see the angels saved and the heavens restored. Perhaps fate can be changed. Quickly then, Ariel, Archangel of Hope, has been captured by Ragnoth, the Lord of Despair. I will free her. Are the gardens of hope, the Archangel Ari cannot be far. I have seen many warriors in my day, but only a scant few of them could face the might of an oppressor. This monster towers over the tallest barbarians and wields weapons crafted from hell-forged steel. They were last seen with Bale during his resurgence and left legions of dead men in their wake. has seen an armored destroyer since Diablo was exiled from the burning hell centuries ago. Before then, they were the bulk of his army, and they crawled, thick as locusts over the face of their master's realm. Should the Lord of Terror ever return, I fear they would be his heralds.
rooms I cannot pass yet. Crawlers are commonly spoken of among the peasantry in Kanduras, most often invoked to scare unruly children into their beds. Fables hold that the crawlers are the half-formed demon spawn who hatched before their time. They resemble nothing more than a bloody, ravening mess and possess a voracious appetite for human flesh. Educators have always been powerful demon sorcerers. They constantly sought to increase their standing in the bloodthirsty realms of hell. To this end, they imprisoned a score of massive Armadon, torturing and flaying them until the hell beasts would bear subjugators as riders. Together, the mount and its master are nearly invincible. Well crafted. We make an odd pair, Templar, but I respect you, and I hope you respect me. I cannot condone thievery and deception. But it is perfectly fine to loot the corpse of an opponent you to slay. Those riches are mine by right of conquest, and I conquer because I stand with the light. killed the demons, things will be better around here. But 
Maybe we would all have been better off as demon food. When you have lived as long as I, you learn that life is filled with betrayal. But the cruelest always comes at the hands of those we love. I, I know it must be hard to think of other things, but now we must. All creation rests upon your shoulders. So you are capable of being serious. Well, these are dark times. Even I must set apart thoughts of Dirge's jewel and dwell upon the fate of the world. But that doesn't mean you have to frown so. Hope, do not look down, my friend. Even in the darkest of times, there is always hope. Hope for a better day. Hope for a new dawn. Or just hope for a good breakfast. You start small, and then see what you can get. Do you think that Leah is lost forever? Her soul remains, but it is powerless. Do you not think Leah's soul is stronger than that? But oh, but then sometimes I, I forget that you have not seen everything that I have seen. Then enlighten me, old man, if that is what you truly are. Uh, what am I? I am covered as Shen, of course. Uh, no more, no less. To some that has meant one thing, to others another. When will you tell me what it means to you? When the sun sets in the east and the shore swallows the tide. Uh, when the moon smiles upon the day and the blind man sees once again. For the we men. can't all be warriors. Someone needs to sell the equipment. She was a sister to me when all of my other sisters were gone. I wanted to protect her, but it was not meant to be.
Keep yourself free from the chains of fate, Nephilim. But all will kneel before Lord Diablo. Rakanoth served Andaril, a maiden of anguish, with efficient brutality, for his touch may open up many painful wounds. He was also the warden of Iswal during many long years that the angel suffered in Rakanoth's own plains of despair. But he has quit his realm unexpectedly in recent times. again fill this troubled realm. I see now that all hope lies in you. How strange. With my blessing, you can now dispel Diablo's corruption. It hides the rifts which bring his cursed servants to this hallowed place. The rifts must be closed. We will not fail you. I have found Ariel, the Archangel of Hope. With her aid, the high heavens may yet prevail. Though Tyriel is still lost, Diablo's presence has scarred these halls, and a battle rages on within his infernal portals. The corruption was strongest north east of here. This world can abide you no longer. before you may proceed. Here is 
Council is comprised of the five Archangels who hold dominion over the High Heavens. They determine the laws by which all Angels must abide. Each of them embodies a pure aspect of creation. Valor. Justice. Hope. Fate. And Wisdom. warrior in all of creation. He revels in war and combat, and has led the hosts of heaven to innumerable victories. With Malthael's absence, it is Imperius who now rules over the Angiris Council, seeking always to defend the high heavens from any foe. Believe us. He's back. Can you believe it? He's back from heaven. Not just that, he's winning. If the demons come back, maybe I'll have a go at them. I haven't felt this great in a long time. Let us seek our fortunes together. We were gravely mistaken, my friend. I could not see through an illusion of such power, such treachery. 
It was skillfully concealed. Leah's magic always did seem strange, but I assumed it was because she had not been trained. When I think of what she suffered through, we must find a way to stop Diablo. The Prophet would never forgive me if he knew my part in unleashing this terror upon the world. I found a strange document on one of the angels' bodies in the high heavens. It is very old, maybe centuries even older than I. What does it say? I am not certain. Script is very old and foreign to me. When I saw the angel, he was dying. But even though he was in great pain, he reached out to me with the document in his hand, like he wanted me to take it. By the time I approached him, he was still. His spirit had already gone. Got some new items for the man who saved the key. Take a look. I draw closer to victory, Nephilim. You are too late, just as you always have been. Expectations, Nephilim. But there is not a moment to waste. Quickly, you must make your way to the Silver Spire. Knowledge of the future grants power over the present. For this reason, Ethereum, the Archangel of Fate, is a vital member of the Council. He alone possesses the ability to decipher the threads of destiny woven in the celestial scroll of fate. His boundless sight grants him perspective others cannot fully comprehend. The hell rifts are closed, but it is of no matter. Soon there will be nothing left of these high heavens. All creation will be the realm of terror.
Think. Sorry, it's an old habit, you see. Consumes you. Much debate among the Horodrim regarding the shadow vermin. Some scholars believe that these wraith like foes are formed from concentrated demonic energy, while others believe they are the souls of humans corrupted by Diablo. They glide through the darkness as easily as water, ready to smother their unwary prey. Almost make theft unnecessary.
world can abide you no longer. departure. It falls to Ariel to hold the Angiris Council together. Should her light ever fade, all heaven would fall to despair. Nice cut. different beings I have ever met. This world can abide you no longer!
gift for me. Tyrael. Yes, my friend. I am ready to again fight by your side. I was wrong to give in to despair. You have shown me there is still a chance for victory. But we must hurry. Even now, Diablo makes his way to the Silver Spire. I finally understand. Your kind faces death and darkness every day. Yet still you find the courage to move forward. It is an honor to be one of you. Oh, you still have much to discover, my friend. Looks like trouble up ahead. You'd better be ready for it. One can only hope. But now, we must stop Diablo before he reaches the crystal arch above us. I spoke with Ethereal, and he helped me translate the document. It was written by an angel who saw promise in humanity. He began to teach a group of young women who had killed the demons their masters summoned. You and your sisters? None other. The prophet I have followed for so many years. He was an angel. And Tyrael reminded you of him? Yes, but I do not know whether the prophet was the dying angel I met or not. Writings say that he worked in absolute secrecy. 
Ethereal knew nothing of them. You will learn more about the Prophet's path as you make your own. You are right. And I hope that path will still be with you, my friend. May the battles never end. Thank you. Got some new items for the man who saved the key. Take a look. You were honest with me earlier. More of that, and we could reach a true understanding. I think we understand each other perfectly. Why bring the truth into it? Because we face a great enemy, and there will be more of them on the horizon. I need your help. What a nice thing to say. A and to return the favor? I, I do believe that the world could not do better uh, than to have you as a savior. At any rate, when you defeat Diablo, don't laze about. We have other lands to explore, you and I. Dirge's jewel is still out there somewhere. Oh, all is falling to ruin and corruption. Nothing in all my days and all my years has ever compared to this. It is terrible to witness such a loss of balance. But nowhere near as terrible as might happen if you do not defeat Diablo. All the jewels in heaven or in our world would mean nothing then. Oh, I weep to think of such a day.
evil does not rest. Neither should we. Diablo is ready his final blow against the high heavens. And yet yes, is the act that will disrupt the balance of all remedy. 
Tyrion and I, and I must find a way to save both of our realms. Second only to the seven evils themselves. The mallet demons rule the seething outer reaches of the hells that surround the central realms and have long refused to join any of the lesser evils' armies. Surely the destruction would be unthinkable if such a thing ever came to pass. We must make it to the summit.
after he gained a following, Inaria stole the sacred world stone and used it to create and conceal a world he called Sanctuary. Demons and angels alike fled there, and some of them, including Inarius and Lilith, fell in love. Many of these unions resulted in children. They are called the Nephilim. Remember angels striding through these halls in all their majesty. We thought ourselves the masters of all creation. Our arrogance was our downfall. and face it. was once Tyrion's lieutenant, but he was captured by the enemy after an ill-advised assault upon the Hellforge. Iswal surrendered to demonic corruption and revealed the secrets of the Soul Stones to the prime evils. Tyrion claimed that Iswal was slain years ago, but his replacement has never emerged from the Crystal Arch.
I often came to this great span to meditate on things as I looked out over the Silver City. The view used to calm me. Now I find it does the opposite. Not enough essence. My essence is too low. you could help? Ha! I don't think he needs it. I have a gift for you, Lyndon. Is that so? It's gold. Enough to repay the Merchant's Guild and free your brother. You're joking, right? You look like you're joking. Do I ever joke? I'm speechless. I suppose there's a first time for everything. The Prophet has foreseen our victory. You're going up against the Lord of Hell. Any last minute purchases before you're done? Not far now. I only hope we are not too late. I can feel Diablo's corruption closing around the light of heaven. The Angel's Council is no better than the prime evils themselves. We are just pawns in their cruel games, and now you help the worst of them all. Cain would never say that. The enslaved nightmares stand as testament that there will never be peace between men and demons. Sorcerers who attempt to master the dark arts and summon demons with their black spells are all damned to become skeletal nightmares, bound to the very power they tried to bend to their will. <laughs>
death near. See, you did not heed my warning. Or perhaps you think yourself strong enough to face me. I come to kill another. Do not waste my time. Imperius, stop this madness. Diablo is the enemy here, not the Nephilim. Tyrion, I will deal with you soon enough. I will... What is this? No! Diablo has reached the Arch! No. Diablo has begun extinguishing the Crystal Arch. That's why the Angels have fallen. If its light should go out forever, we must defeat Diablo before that happens. We stand together as mortals. Diablo's vile corruption bars our path. Stand back. Eldruin's light shall clear the way. The gate has been opened, Nephilim. This last trial is yours alone. Thank you for leading me this far. It was an honor. But this is the moment you were made for. This is the hour of mankind's victory. If you insist. to know more about the Crystal Arch. It is older than time itself. And over the eons, this shining realm took shape around it. It thrums with living light and sound that courses through the very fabric of the Silver City. The angels themselves are born from it. Yes, like musical notes in a grand chorus. Angels are the manifestation of the Arch's intrinsic harmony. The purest expressions of this harmony were my brethren, the Archangels. This harmony seems to have been lost. Yeah. I fear that if we defeat Diablo, Leah's innocent spirit will die with him. It is likely that she is already lost, though that may be hard to accept. Leon knew the protective spells of the Horadrim. Diablo took control over her body, but he can never twist her mind. Which of the angels voted to destroy humanity? Imperius. Malthael abstained, but it was counted against you. Malthael. Who is he? He was wisdom itself, until his disappearance. The Angiris Council has been broken ever since. Do you know why Malfeld disappeared? Long ago, when Anarius and his ilk stole the World Stone to create sanctuary, Malfeld became consumed with discovering its whereabouts. As the Archangel of Wisdom, he was tortured by his inability to recover the sacred artifact. Have there been any clues about his whereabouts? Some say he haunts the silent halls of Pandemonium, 
forever seeking answers to the unknowable mysteries of life and death. What is the prime evil? It is the sum total of all seven evils housed within one body. There is an ancient legend, known only to a few, of the great dragon Tathamet, who was the original embodiment of evil. The legend says that he was ripped apart during an epic battle with Anu, and that the burning hells are composed of his remains. Anu? Just as Tathamet was the ultimate evil, Anu was the ultimate good. It is said by some that the Crystal Arch is all that remains of this great warrior. Then evil has been reborn in its purest form. In a manner of speaking, yes. You need my help. Stay on around here. The men need me. You never know when the fighting might start again. What I fear. For long years, I fear the jewel of Durgis would fall into the wrong hands. That its evil would be unleashed upon our world. But in the sight of this, in the sight of all this destruction, I can hardly look or even think upon a jewel, even one as terrible as Durgis. You must save us.
take that? have it too easy. I wish I had a pair of giant wings. Why? Why do you think? My feet hurt terribly from all of our travels. The day is won. Diablo is vanquished, and all evil with him. Evil retreats, but it does not die. Time will tell. I cannot believe it all came to pass, just as the Prophet wished. I left everything I knew behind to fight with you. It was the best choice I have ever made. You... you truly are the one the Prophet promised. You are everything that all the angels and all of humanity could have hoped for. And... well... you're awfully nice too. It's finally over. Many brave souls died in this war. Thanks to us, they did not perish in vain. And so the Lord of Terror falls. May all the souls ravaged by his evil rest in peace. Victory at last! There was never a doubt in my mind, friend. You are a true champion. The day is won. Diablo is vanquished, and all evil with him. Evil retreats, but it does not die. Time will tell. Saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil forever. place among you once again but this time as a mortal since justice has been met this day I will now stand as wisdom on behalf of those who risked all to save us Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn.
For a time, it seemed we would know peace. But it was not to be. For Diablo's essence lingers in the Black Soul Stone. I cannot destroy the stone, nor allow its evil to remain within the heavens. And so it must be hidden, even from the angels. I pray that it will be enough. Service here is finished. And you should all. have started a massacre, slaying all they find. I must see it with my own eyes and learn why they have come. There are many questions, and I have little time to act. You must come with me. Too many have died here. I will intervene. 
But you and Tyriel need to form a plan. We must find Malthia. Tyriel should meet me in Westmarch. Go. It will be done. I swear it. Regard to die! She's coming to kill us all! <laughs> I watched in horror as the guard was struck by the Maiden's magic. I heard the sound of his screams until his flesh had dissolved to nothing. And only his armor-clad skeleton remained, his jaw unhinged. Blue mist swirled around his bones, coalescing into new flesh. When at last I cut him down, the phantasmal flesh exploded, leaving only a pile of armor behind. Gates. There are other ways into the city. May I recommend the sewers? Malthiel's fallen angels have brought death to Westmarch, raising an army of reapers from the city's slain defenders. Once, these men and women were our protectors. Now, they are our executioners. Scouring the city for every living soul and putting them to the sword. to the streets. My wares. wisely. It's the end of the world. So many have been killed and the Reapers are everywhere. Are there other survivors? General Torian was defending a group of refugees at the old Zakarum Cathedral, but they're likely all dead by now. We'll see. Touched me and 
darkness spread across my vision until all I could see was blackness. It gave way to a pale light that sapped my strength. It seemed so easy. But instead, I drew upon the last of my will and fought back. Color flooded back into my sight. The shadow was right before me, and I drove my spear through it. The Revenant Shield Guards were once the personal guard of King Justinian IV. Appointed to the position for bravery and skill at arms, they accompanied the king at all times, resplendent in their ornate armor, wrought by the finest craftsmen in Westmarch. But most spectacular were their shields, which they unerringly employed in the protection of their king. Not good. Not good at all. Reapers! Never seen an attack like this. Why has Malthale unleashed his forces on West March? Because he feeds on death. Every time his Reapers kill, he grows stronger. And with the Prime Evil gone, Malthale believes this is the perfect time to end the eternal conflict. Humanity has nothing to do with that war. I agree. The Church! All the refugees are inside! Follow me! Than I feared. What is it? A death me! Stop her! We must do everything in our power to slow the Nephilim down so that the collection of souls is not interrupted. It is the key to Malthiel's victory. Not in Westmarch. He could have taken the Black Soul Stone anywhere in creation. There are no other clues. There may be. A sliver broke off when Malfeo took the Soul Stone. Perhaps by studying that sliver, I can learn his plans. Then you must remain here. I will do what I can for Westmarch. Death Maiden doing? She was creating an orb that turns the living into mountainous death creatures. A single orb can transform hundreds of innocent people every hour. 
and my men report two more of them out in the city. So, Crucibles, with two of them, Malfail has an endless supply of soldiers. This magic was not meant to be used so. I will not stand for it. <laughs> Read spells about crucibles that could enslave the dead. Now the angels are using them. Sadly, yes. And the death maidens as well. Their story is as tragic as Malfield's. Once the vanguard of his wisdom angels, they followed him down the path to darkness. Malfield, my brother, he was wisdom, leader of our council. First among angels, and now he has become this. How? After the destruction of the World Stone, Malthael's mood darkened, and he left the heavens frequently. Then he disappeared completely. He must have developed a connection, no, an obsession with human souls. He was never meant to explore the domain of death. What would Rathmus say if he were here? Any progress? The sliver is still connected to the soul stone. As the stone changes, the sliver will change too. Therefore, I can observe what Malfail is doing to the stone. And if we're lucky, even discover his plan. So the Herodrim have returned. Tyriel rebuilt the Order to help him take the soul stone from heaven and to protect mankind. After all, you can't be everywhere at once, no matter how powerful you are. Trust in Ekorant. <laughs> 